The Sony Xperia Tablet Z is based on the omnibalanced design language of the Xperia Z and shares all of its advantages, thin, attractive, and water resistant. The box the Xperia Tablet Z comes in is pretty straightforward. It contains a compact charger, a micro USB cable to go with it, and a small stack of manuals. The tablet itself is stunningly thin, thinner than almost all smartphones and thinner than any other tablet out there. It's light too, and you can easily lift it by its corner. More impressively, despite its thin and light construction, the Xperia Tablet Z is a solidly built device that has a premium feel in hand. The front is covered in a scratch resistant glass and in the center is the 10.1 inch IPS LCD display of 1920 by 1200 resolution. The bezels around the display are thick enough to comfortably put your thumb on without touching the screen. The screen is almost as sharp as those on the Nexus 10 or iPad 4, but the image quality is still very good. Colors and contrast are also good, but the brightness is relatively low and the display is quite reflective so sunlight legibility suffers. Surprisingly for a Sony display, the viewing angles are great, unlike on most other Sony smartphones. The Sony Xperia Tablet Z is water resistant, which means that all ports are sealed by protective plastic flaps. The one on the left covers the 3.5mm audio jack, which is just above the trademark power lock key and the volume rocker. A little, a little further down are two pogo pins that can be used to charge the tablet with a dock so you don't always have to open the MHL enable USB port on the bottom. Also here are the card slots, micro SIM and micro SD in this case, but the Xperia Tablet C also comes in a Wi-Fi only version. The stereo speakers are on the bottom and they have grills on the sides too. The back of the tablet is made of nice matte plastic with soft touch finish, which is grippy and fairly resistant to fingerprints. It's hard to clean when it gets dirty, but you can just wash it off under the sink. The Sony Xperia Tablet Z runs Android 4.12 with Sony customizations similar to those of the Xperia Tablet S and the Xperia Z smartphones. And the Xperia Z smartphone. The lock screen is straight from the Xperia Z with a slider for the camera and music controls. The home screen looks fairly close to stock, but Sony has added some cool extra functionality. There are little things to make better use of the screen real estate like the small shortcut dock in the top left corner or the small apps button on the bottom. Small apps are floating windows that you can use alongside standard apps. There are several pre-installed, but you can download new ones from the Play Store or turn any widget into a small app. You can minimize a small app by dragging it to the right or bottom edge of the screen, but you can only run one at a time. One special small app is the Remote Control app. It uses the IR Blaster on top of the Xperia Tablet Z to control home equipment like TV sets, set-top boxes, projectors, audio players, and so on. There's a big app to go along with it too, one that can control complex setups and create macros to control multiple devices at once. If a device is not in the app's database, you can use its remote to teach the Tablet Z its commands. Sony has preloaded its own Walkman music player, which has multiple sound enhancements, including an equalizer and dynamic normalizer, which minimizes the difference in volume between songs. There are also custom visualizations and Sony's infinite button. The Tablet Z also comes with a built-in FM radio receiver. The Social Life app combines Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube feeds into a single stream. It's easy to use and lets you replay, retweet, and like and post updates. It also has features to help you discover interesting news. The Backup and Restore app can handle everything from settings to downloaded apps and their data. You can back up to the internal memory, a micro SD card, or even a plugged-in USB mass storage device.